Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video which is on Can Tammy Abraham, Young Tammy, win the Golden Boot this season in the Premier League? Can he finish the season as top goal scorer? Now I'm going to be looking at some statistics, metrics from this season so far as we go into this international break and I'm going to be comparing him to the other two top strikers in the league this moment, just for kind of a point of reference and an experiment. Those other two players are Jamie Vardy, who's flying high at the moment, and Sergio Aguero. He's always in and around that sort of top scorer place area. And they both are sandwiching Tammy Abraham, who's currently in second. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to be looking at the numbers, and at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and opinions on whether Tammy can do it, and whether it's even important. But it's interesting. Before we do get into the video, a quick reminder for you to subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet done so. Please do hit the bell notifications icon. That's important. And like the video. All right then. Chelsea and Tammy Abraham, Frank Lampard, indeed the whole narrative has been the surprise package this season in the Premier League. There's a feel good factor about the bridge and the kids are certainly alright with performers like Tammy Abraham of course, Mason Mount, Tamori, Reese James, hudson Doy coming back in, um, you know, Ruby Loftus-Cheek's going to come back in, all the academy kids. Joe Edwards, Jody Morris and Frank Lampard has a beauty sense of belief in the youngsters and the academy kids are flying high and they have a high level of confidence at the moment none less than Tammy Abraham he's already reached double figures this season and it looks like his head's never gonna drop and he's just gonna keep going keep going keep going and as long as there's a feel-good factor around the bridge you feel like he will continue to be fueled to just basically not stop scoring ever even if he does have a dip in form you fancy someone like Frank Lampard to pick his head up and to get him back into form so we're looking at two other strikers today we're looking at Aguero and Vardy because they're the top strikers with him. I'm not going to mention people like Obama Yang and say Mane and Stella this video just because it's going to sort of, I don't know, there's going to be too much to reference in here and it's basically an experiment with the top three strikers at the moment. Obviously, Obama Yang's an elite marksman and scores loads of goals, but there's loads of problems at Arsenal at the moment. If they were doing a bit better, you'd absolutely have uh, Bambi Young in the conversation, even though he's still in the conversation. I'm just saying, if there were more harmony at Arsenal, I'd be talking about him. Same reason we're not mentioning Harry Kane in this comparison, because things aren't good at Tottenham at the moment, and he hasn't scored that many goals. Obviously, Mane and Salah score a lot of goals. They shared the golden boot last season. But Salah doesn't quite look like he's on form yet, or certainly by his standards. And the thing is about Liverpool in general, they look like they're scoring less goals. They're sharing them around a little bit more. You know, Fabinho's chipping in, Henderson's scoring, you know, the fullbacks are scoring. So I feel like they've got this kind of potential title-winning campaign form where they're a little bit more resolute, more defensive, and everyone chips in. But again, disclaimer, either Mane or Salah might win the golden boot I'm just making my case right so let's get into the cold hard numbers and the interesting stuff and open that statistics page right so Vardy Aguero and Abraham let's talk about goals first as it stands Vardy is top of the pops with 11 Premier League goals already as we go into the international break Tammy 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 Abraham man is also on double figures just one behind Jamie Vardy with 10 goals very very good if you told me pre-season that Tammy was going to get 10 Premier League goals I would have taken that already. But we're like a third through the season. Anyway, and Sergio Aguero has got nine goals, which is pretty decent. So let's talk about minutes per goal. How often are these players scoring? Well, Jamie Vardy is banging one in every 98 minutes, which is pretty darn decent, considering. Tammy Abraham is scoring a goal every 90 minutes, which is exactly a goal a game, where this far in the season, that is a very handsome return indeed. And Sergio Aguero is scoring every 82 minutes, which is classic. Sergio Aguero give him a chance to score a goal or does he more on that later hashtag poor conversion rate in fact let's talk about it now shot accuracy Jamie Vardy's shot accuracy this season so far is 70% that is quite frankly insane and also unsustainable which we'll talk about more in a minute Tammy Abraham's shot accuracy is 63% which is very very good and looking how Chelsea play and how he plays hopefully he can keep that up around 60% which is a very handsome and neat return for the young Englishman now Sergio Aguero's shot accuracy is 40% which is really really poor but 
You look at his um, mins per goal, he's scoring a lot of goals. This is just indicative to how many chances Manchester City create, man. They're constantly creating chances. So his minutes per goal, even if he's missing loads of shots, he's going to have another chance in like two minutes anyway. So he's not being clinical at all, Sergio Aguero, but he's still got a really handsome minutes per goal record. You put Tammy Abraham in that City team at the moment, and I think he'll have more goals. Just saying. Right, let's look at big chances created for each team they play for. Leicester have created 19 big chances this season already. Which actually isn't that much. I think they're like 7th or 8th down in the league for big chances created, even though they're sitting in second place. Hashtag unsustainable. Chelsea have created 28 big chances, which I think is like the third most in the league, which is very, very good and would suit where they're sitting in the Premier League at the moment. Manchester City have created 46 big chances this season already. Crazy amounts, they're just a chance creating machine. Which is more testament to why Aguero has such a good goals per minutes ratio, but such a poor shot conversion rate. So looking at all these stats, one massive thing stands out right, and that is Jamie Vardy's shot conversion rate of 70% considering how many chances they're getting is quite frankly insane, and quite frankly unsustainable. So let's talk about all this a little bit more and close this statistics page. Right, so to reiterate, Jamie Vardy's in the form of his life. Every time he takes a shot, often he scores. Nearly three quarters of the shots he's taken, he's uh, on target and if not converting. That is superb. And I'm not saying his form's going to drop off. I think Jamie Vardy's generally going to have a very, very good season. But if you're looking at the XG metric and big chances created, they are sort of, or certainly he's overperforming for the team. And the amount of goals he's scoring at the moment is unsustainable. Now, I know I've compared to the other two teams, Leicester are only playing once a week and he's got a lot of time to prepare for the opposition, but he's still like, what, 33? He's by far the oldest. And although I really like and rate Jamie Vardy, I just don't think he can keep this up. So personally, I don't think he'll win the golden boot. Now you look at someone like Sergio Aguero, an elite marksman, one of the striker greats in Premier League history. Regardless to his good goals per minute's form, his actual form is very bad in terms of shot conversion. Just look at him when he played against Liverpool the other day. I know he's got the Anfield curse, but he, you know, he couldn't score. But even more importantly, I think in regards to Manchester City, it really does look like often Pep Guardiola wants to play Gabriel Jesus. The young striker, he starts for Brazil, he's an amazing uh, player and obviously a lot, lot younger and he's a, developed his game so much in playing off the ball, he's more in the mould of a Guardiola player now than ever. So I think, personally, Aguero is going to share a lot of Premier League minutes with Gabriel Jesus. And obviously, that will affect his chances of winning the Golden Boot and, you know, poor shot conversion rate at the moment. Pep might just think of taking him out anyway and putting in Jesus, so... So, it does look like Chelsea can sustain a high chance creation rate throughout the season. Young, energetic players. Tammy Abraham is absolutely the number one at Chelsea. Um, you know, Michy Batshuayi might get time off the bench. Giroud's not going to be starting over him. So he doesn't have the competition Aguero has. And I think the pressure's off Tammy Abraham. He can express himself. And I think he's got a very good chance of winning the golden boot. That would be insane if he does, obviously. That would be a Hollywood story, a feel-good story. But he is obviously going to face competition. Vardy will score a lot of goals. Aguero will score a lot of goals, Aubameyang, Salah, Mane, all these people, they're going to score a lot of goals. But just looking at the top three strikers right now who've scored the most goals, I've made my case for Tammy Abraham why he could probably outscore the other two if things carry on going the way they're going, and reasons for why maybe Vardy can't sustain an immaculate conversion rate in a team that doesn't create that many chances, and Aguero sharing minutes with Jesus and maybe not having the best shot conversion rate. I think Tammy Abraham's like third or fourth favourite to win the golden boot by the bookies so that would be a very interesting bet to make if Tammy Abraham reaches 20 Premier League goals this season he will absolutely be a success story and you know Gareth Southgate's gonna have to start noticing him more and more and more as Chelsea do well and Tottenham struggle Harry Kane's an amazing player his all-round game how he brings people in and drops deeper but you know if Southgate's just looking for a goal scorer number nine he might fancy Tammy Abraham in the Euros for a few games I don't know I'm just saying anyway I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about this let me know who you think will win golden boot this season do you think it's unrealistic for Tammy Abraham to win it 
how many goals do you think he'll get? Get down in the comments and let me know how many goals do you think he'll score this season and if he will win the golden boot or not. If you've enjoyed the content, guys, remember to like the video and follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. You're welcome to join the Football Therapy Discord server through the Patreon link down in the description. And if you've made it this far into the video, thanks, guys. Why not subscribe to Yan Plays, my sister channel, where I'm playing a lot of FIFA at the moment. Go check it out. It's pretty funny. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you do subscribe to Yan Plays. Right, you lot, that's it from me. You enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby